Hi everyone, welcome back to another cook on the channel and today we are doing our second ever cook from a cookbook. Uh, but this one's a little bit special because it's from one of our own. Uh, yes, we're doing the glazed chicken, bacon and avocado skewers from uh, Food and Fire by Marcus Bodden. So I actually had a little bit of trouble deciding what to cook from the book. Uh, there's a lot of great looking stuff in here. Some of it is slightly longer cooked though and I never get to cook whenever I come home from work. Um, by the time I get out of work at half five, get home it's six, quarter past six and with two kids in the house you need to be eating earlier than that so I never get a chance to come out and fire up the grills and prep everything and cook so I only really cook on my days off but I saw these skewers and they look super simple and there's not a massive ingredients list so I thought this was the one to give it a go with so it uses uh, chicken breast and there's avocado and bacon and then you're going to brush that with the glaze it's that simple so the first thing you need to do is fire up your barbecue uh, I use the Kamado Joe for this and I've set it up for direct cooking uh, Marcus calls for a high heat which I did but I actually lifted the grates up to the higher level just to avoid any flames that might come from that dripping bacon fat uh, coming up and blackening the chicken. So once you've that done you go ahead and dice up your chicken into chunks and the same with your avocado. Now in the book Marcus calls for each individual chunk of avocado to be wrapped in a slice of stricky bacon. I think it's half a slice. Uh, I got a little bit lazy with it so what I did was took the skewer, thread it on one end of the streaky bacon, then went on with the piece of chicken, thread it the streaky bacon back over, avocado, fold it the streaky bacon back over, so just done it in like a zigzag form the whole way up the skewer. Essentially achieved the same goal, uh, maybe a little bit less of a fiddle just to wrap all them little bits of avocado. So once you've everything threaded onto the skewers, give them a season with salt and pepper and then get them directly over the coals to start cooking. I turn them regularly to make sure that they're getting colour on all sides uh, but while they're cooking you're going to go ahead and prepare the glaze. Now the glaze that we're going to brush onto these is actually really simple and um, so it's just uh, runny honey and sriracha hot sauce. Mix it together but they get the perfect combination of sweet and heat. So once your chicken hits 70 degrees in the centre, uh, it's not quite ready yet but it's time to start brushing on that glaze. So uh, I just took a brush, brushed it onto the top of them and closed the lid for another few minutes then flipped them over and brushed it onto the other side. Uh, you might need to repeat that process a few times until the chicken hits 75 C in the centre. So once they're ready, lift them off and serve them up. Uh, Marcus recommends using wraps for submarine rolls uh, so I went for a nice seated roll and put them inside that purely because I was looking for something uh, nice, quick and easy. Uh, but really it will go with anything. You can make, uh, it will probably go quite well with rice as well. It'll be a nice one with it. Uh, but I into the roll and a bit more of that sriracha sauce over the top because you can never get enough heat. So a really nice simple recipe. Fast to prepare, fast to cook. Um, but it really does pack a lot of flavour into it as well. That glaze, uh, once it sets onto the chicken, is really good. So I wasn't too sure about the avocado. I've had grilled avocado before. Um, and it does work well on the grill um, if you're looking to try it but I was a little bit indifferent to it however uh, with the bacon around it and that sort of sweet sticky glaze over the top of it it actually worked really well and it was a nice uh, sort of combination with the chicken too uh, I thought something with a bit more of a crunch on there would have been better but nope avocado and chicken is a winner so huge thumbs up for me Marcus, uh, if you haven't got the book yet I will leave uh, links in the description that you can go and buy it. Um, it's been going really well and it's sold out a couple of times now so uh, grab it while you still can. But there's loads of different recipes in this uh, that I'm quite excited about trying. Uh, keep flicking to that seafood section thinking one day, one day I will eat fish. But there's loads of other stuff and you know, there's a lot of veg in it as well. Um, so it's not just a, a meat book but uh, I was having a conversation through the week saying I need to eat more veg in the barbecue so this will hopefully help out with it. So if you want to try the recipe for yourself go and buy the book. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Whoa, I fell off the seat. Come on.
See if it's not noisy neighbours, it's the sun pissing me off. Because <sighs> the sun went away and I adjusted my camera for it and now it's come back. <gasps> Why? Oh, my good friend uh, Elky, the Smoking Elk, has started a YouTube channel, so he has come to the YouTube site. Uh, if you're not sure who he is, he does a lot of stuff on Instagram. Uh, go and check him out. He's doing his uh, sort of around the world in 365 days at the minute. So he's cooking a dish uh, from 365 countries in the space of a year. Uh, so there's stuff on there I have never heard of, but it all looks amazing. However, he has now moved across and started his YouTube channel. Uh, I think there's one video up there at the minute. At the time of recording this, there's one video. So Elgie, if you sneak another one in there before then, uh, fair play. But what I'll do, I will leave a little box, we'll, we'll put it here, somewhere. Uh, click on that, go over and subscribe to Elgie's channel and uh, give it a play. And I'll also leave one for Marcus's here and I'll put mine up here.